Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It keeps me motivated. Uh, we're getting towards the end of this blog application. Uh, we can always come back to it, but I do take requests. So if you guys want to see something added to the blog, please let me know. Uh, anyhow, in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and delete our post. Previous tutorial, we edited our post, and a couple of tutorials ago, we created posts. So it's only uh, proper if we can delete them. So um, if you guys, yeah, I forget what I was going to say, but let's get started. Open up PyCharm or any text editor that you're using. Let's go ahead and create a function. This is below our edit post function. We're going to go ahead and create a delete. Uh, a delete post function. So delete post, and it's going to take a two parameters: request and pk for primary key. Uh, next thing we're going to add is our template. Our template is going to be our blog uh, new post. Now I'm using new post, so I don't have to write another uh, template. Um, so most like a, if we're using new post we're going to display it in a form template uh so basically our object could be edited but if you hit that button it's going to delete it so just keep that in mind uh probably the more suitable way would be to create a new template and it just displays it and you can't edit it but i'm trying to save time here so uh the process is basically the same all right so <clears throat> Uh, we got template. Next thing we need to do is get our object that we want to delete. So we're going to go ahead and just create a variable called post and we'll use get object 404. We're going to get uh, from the post table. We want to get the primary key that matches the primary key that we're passing. There we go. All right. So the next thing we want to do is. Um, hold on. All right, so the next thing we want to do is set up our try statement to handle any errors if we come across any. So we're going to say try. And then we're going to do uh, if request. So if, re if request method is equal, equal to post, then we are going to delete the post. So we're going to say form is equal to post form. And like I said before, you do not need to use a form if you don't want to. You can just display your... Uh, your content as like a detailed post like we did with our detail post all right and instance is post all right uh then we're just going to go ahead and do post delete like that and this is what actually deletes our post all right so we're we're getting the object up here and we just call delete on it and it's going to delete that post uh and then we're going to set up our messages messages dot success request and we'll just say you have successfully successfully deleted the post all right so we've all seen that before this is new uh the post delete and like i said that is what actually deletes the post all right then we're gonna have an else statement so if we're not if our HTTP request is not post, then we're going to do something. So else, and what we're going to do is just display the form. So we'll just say post form and instance is equal to post. All right. Um, now we got to handle any errors that come through. So we're going to have an exception, except exception as E. Uh, and then we'll do uh, messages dot warning request a comma then a string the post could not be deleted and then we'll just say error and then our curly braces and then we'll format format e just like that all right next thing we're going to need is our context variable so we'll just go ahead and set context is equal to a dictionary and the dictionary is going to have form colon form and then we need to return and render our view so return render woo, request 
template context. Just like that. Alright. Uh, that all looks correct. Alright. Alright. So um, we're gonna actually gonna come back and change something in here. Um, just to show you what our what our uh, error message may look like. But let's go ahead and just make sure this works first before we do that. Uh, open up your urls.py, bring in your delete post view, and I'm just going to copy the edit post view, and we're going to paste it in here just like that, and we're just going to change some things. So instead of edit, we're going to have delete. Instead of edit here, we're going to have delete. And instead of edit here, we'll have delete. Now open up your post list underscore admin, find your button, and we're going to go ahead and bring in the A tag from above so we don't have to rewrite this. So we'll go ahead and paste that in front of the button, and we'll just change this right here to delete, and close out your A tag on the back end of the button right here, like that. All right, and then in our new post.html file, and we're going to, instead of an elif, we're going to throw in an else here. So if it's not um, a new post, if it's not an edit post, if it's something else, then we're just going to treat it as delete because that's all we got right now. So else delete, and we'll just go ahead and make h2 tags, and we'll say delete post, and we'll pass post. Uh, in our views real quick if we're going to bring post in there we need to display post so we'll go ahead and do post colon post Whoa. like that and then back in your new post dot html file go down to the bottom where we have our buttons and we're going to put an else statement in here as well and we're just going to say else and then we'll bring in a button so i'm just going to copy this button paste that in here like the woo. I don't understand why it does that. All right, so we'll change this to danger, like that, and change this to delete, like that. All right, let's go ahead and bring up our browser. There it is, and we're gonna go to the post list. Uh, Of course, my server is snoozing on me. There we go. Let's refresh this page. Come on. All right. So we got our delete button. If we're to, to delete one, I'm going to say how to Python. We'll delete that. And you'll notice it says delete post how to Python. We got our title and like I said you don't need to display it in the form. You can display it any way you want. If I click on the delete button it should delete the post. It should. There we go. You have sec successfully deleted the post. Now if I go back to post list probably should include a button in there to go back to that. You notice how to Python is not in here or how to whatever it was called. Uh, that's no longer in there. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at an error real quick, just so you can see what our error, how our um, errors are handled. Um, let's see how we can make this fail. How can we make this fail? Uh, let's go ahead and change post right here to form, just like that, because there is no uh, delete on form, so that's going to kick back an error to us. Just make sure my server catches up here. Wake up, wake up. All right, so my server is back awake, and we're just going to click on delete. This is the title, and you notice nothing's changed so far, but when I hit this delete button, we're going to get some sort of error. So delete. The post cannot be deleted. Error post form object has no attribute delete. So that's what, what we set up yesterday with the messages or whenever the tutorial was, uh, and handling errors. I think this is a pretty cool way of handling them uh, i hope you guys think the same but it gives me a pretty um detailed description of what's happening here it says post form object has no attribute delete 
all right, so something's wrong. So like if you built this for a client and they called you up and said, oh, my site's not working. Well, hey, what's the error message? All right. So I'm big on error messages and it helps you troubleshoot down the road. So let's go back and change that so we don't forget. So we'll change this back to post. And there you go, guys. You got your post delete view. You're able to delete posts from the database. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It keeps me motivated. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, uh, exporting to e either CSV, TSV, or JSON. Uh, I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Or if you guys have any requests. So let me know if you have requests. I'll do whatever you guys want. So I'll see you then.